What's up guys? Today I wanted to share some information with you. It's an MXR carbon copy. So you got a V1 and a V2 out there. How do you know the difference? Well, one would assume being mine doesn't have the plastic uh, little dials and the flats on the top. Uh, you would think that would be the later version, but indeed it's not. So as you, if you have one of those and you want to set it to default settings, the little plastic uh, trim pot for width and speed is going to have a flat on the top. If they're horizontal, that means that's the stock setting. Now if you have one like I got here, uh, you don't have that. So let's remove the paper. And the way to tell if you have a V1 or a V2, right here at R7, you're going to see a value of 000. Now, that indicates that this is a V2 board, V2 circuit. Uh, the V1, just to explain, will have a 470 ohm resistor at R7. The difference between V1 and V2, V1 has a much less, uh, it, it has a fainter, some want to call it chorus sound. Uh, to me, it's more like an Echoplex tape delay. Uh, that's just me. So the V1 is more faint and also it does not have a diode protection to protect the circuit, which V1 was also known to have some problems with you know static and MXR would replace the board. Uh, how do you tell where if you want these on default? Okay, so in here it's going to be really hard to see, but you can see two slots. Now those two slots got a face vertical. And you would think if you're going to take this screwdriver and turn it all the way to the left that this upper part of the slot would go all the way down to say about 7 o'clock. Same with the speed. It's not that way. And I'm going to show you here if I can. So I'm going to turn it right now. It's stock setting. If I turn it, you can see that I turned only that little, little bit. The same thing with the speed you can't turn it no more uh, so let me see oh, okay I wasn't turning it hard enough alright now you can hopefully see in there that's turned counterclockwise all the way to the left so this upper part of the slot is facing about 10 o'clock or in between 10 and 11 o'clock now that is turned all the way down. If we take the pot and we turn it all the way clockwise, and let's do the same on the speed. Now you're going to see the bottom, and hopefully the camera is picking this up, the slot is pointed to about 7 o'clock. So that kind of explains hopefully in detail that's max and then your minimum counterclockwise max is at like seven o'clock okay and then uh, minimum is right around ten o'clock and then the stock setting would be just backed off ever so slightly to noon uh, I did watch somebody else's video and they said setting the width to 9 o'clock which their pot did not look like it was at 9 o'clock it actually looked like it kinda was maybe around 8 o'clock and then the speed seemed like it was just a little past 12 it did have a very nice sound to it but hopefully if you mess with these things inside that's the way you get it back to stock explains the version and everything there's not much information unless you go digging through forms for it and as always I like to bring things right to YouTube put the thing on watch it and it's explained to you 
without having to read through 10 million freaking comments and listening to people, you know, go off on other pedals and other bullshit like that because that's all it is is bullshit. We're talking about one fucking pedal, not 10. We're not talking about several different things. Stay on one subject and keep it simple. That's my, I use the KISS principle all the time. Keep it simple, stupid.